This video is all about the brush tool. Um, it's probably my favorite tool. Being a, a painter and drawer, um, I, I think it's the funnest tool of all digital art because it allows a lot of freedom and combining with layers allows you to just endlessly draw and version stuff. Um, my favorite probably is the hard round pressure opacity brush. I was down on it for a while, but then I started using it a lot and I find it the most useful thing on the planet. If you have um, a pressure sensitive tablet that allows you to push harder and make darker marks the harder you push. The other favorite that I have is the hard round pressure size. So it will, with soft pressure, it'll start at a minimum and increase to the maximum of the brush size that you've selected. And so it's kind of cool because it can leave solid marks and leave like a variety of solid marks, which is nice because this allows you to build up a base and cover up the painting very quickly or cover up the canvas quickly. And then you can go back on top with, with the pressure opacity brush and modify those colors. Um, let's see, let's say you have like a simple pen brush um, and you're just drawing in black. We'll start up a new layer here. You'll notice that this brush kind of has some pressure sensitivity to it where it, it changes like the size uh, just a little bit and it's a good way to just sketch with a simple pen brush you'll see that the shape is a little different it's not round so if I go in one direction it's got a heavier line if I go the other direction it's thinner um, so if I push hard it gets thicker so it's got the pressure opacity on it as well and um, if I want to mess around with this brush I go into the brush settings and every program has various brush settings you can mess with um, everything has some version of shape dynamics, which allows you to pick like how the shapes change as you push on the pen or um, vary the, the control type. So you can change how the angle changes and so on. Um, so one of the things you'll notice is that um, with this particular brush, as I go over and over that line, it, it just stays opaque. If I click this thing called transfer, what that allows you to do is have like a buildup. So every time that you go over that, uh, the lines that you made, it gets slightly darker. So you can see that the color is, is not fully opaque and that it's more like drawing with a pencil because it allows you to see every make that, or every mark that you make. If you change them, um, color dynamics, interesting things can happen. Like if you put the pen pressure connected to the hue jitter and create a saturated hue, um, the harder you push, the more colors that will change throughout. So if you had a color range that you wanted to pick or you wanted to start with some, uh, some variance in the color, you could quickly create um, nuanced color by using that particular setting. Other fun brushes are things like the hard square brush. Um, it's a very digitized brush and it's very much um, it's very much like painting with a flat paintbrush and I like it for that reason because it's just super simple and allows you to analyze shape really quickly. Um, the blessing and the curse of brushes is that there's hundreds and hundreds of brushes that you can get out on the internet for free or pay a little bit of money or make yourself. Eventually you probably want to make your own, but uh, for now I think using default brushes are fine. You can get all kinds of crazy brushes, like this one's a, um, a textured brush that gives you like little bendet dots in there, which are kind of nice. Um, but the thing about these advanced brushes, like this rake brush, is that it looks like a rake brush and it's not a unique way of mark making to you so it doesn't look like anything that you would make yourself that's unique to your own style and approach to image making and I think that's kind of sad you know um, when someone looks at your painting and they're like oh that's that brush it's disappointing I think 
but if you just use like simple brushes that everybody has like the pressure size brush um, pressure opacity hard round pressure opacity soft round like it'll look more like you because it forces you to work and that to me is really fun if I had to pick four brushes it would be the hard round pressure opacity the soft round pressure opacity which is sort of like um, almost like spray painting you know where it gives you a soft edge because you need soft and hard edges when you paint um, I like the hard round pressure size and I would pick like any basic sketching brush you know like this pen brush is great I like it a lot a lot of times I turn the transfer on so that it gets like more build up um, I like this triangle brush a fair amount because it gives a cool little tail in the end um, and I also like this one because it has like a little texture. If I go soft, it's heavily textured. There's less texture if I push hard. Um, but that one's a fun one as well. So on, on these brushes, I think it's important to not get obsessed with collecting tons of brushes. Most people that I know have a few brushes and they'll switch up brushes occasionally for a specific project. Most people only use four brushes or on any one given project um, because it's more about your, your shape language and so on. The other thing too is when you use the eraser tool by hitting E or selecting the eraser, um, you can pick the brush from your, your brush area. So like this is a big stampy brush uh, that lacks a lot of nuance. So you can see if I bucket fill an area and then start erasing, I could create an interesting edge by using uh, an eraser to create the edge rather than um, doing all this manually. The advantage is that it's very quick and I get a, a crazy uh, amount of edge variety. The disadvantage is that it's the same thing every single time. There's no difference of nuance in it. and I may have to work really hard to bring that nuance and difference back into the painting. And if you did it manually, it would take longer, but it would look unique to you. So this is a balance of how you want your style to come across. Do you want it to be super unique? Uh, do you have time to do that? Or do you need to go really quickly and use sort of defaults and quick, quick use brushes? Um, that's about it for the brush tool. Have fun with it.